Hi class, I just finished grading your first formal essay, your Walsh Lusk template based essay, and I have compiled a list of errors that you are making that are detrimental to your grade. So the very eloquent title of this presentation is Rookie Mistakes That Are Killing Your Grade. All right, so let's look at those. Number one, this is the most important, avoiding my tedious feedback. It is my job to spend hours and hours and hours of my time giving you feedback on your writing. And I do this with pride. When you ignore my feedback, you will make the same mistakes over and over again. Therefore, you will receive the same point deductions and you will not succeed in the class. I need you to read every piece of the feedback that I give you on your essays and let that feedback drive your writing, okay? Again, to view your feedback, you click on where you submitted your paper. On the right-hand side, there's a check mark icon. You click on that. Once you click on that, blue bubbles will appear throughout your document. Click on each blue bubble to see individual comments. If you want to see how you scored on the rubric, you click on the pencil icon to see the points that you earned and the categories that you earned those points in. Second, ignoring MLA format. I will no longer grade papers that are not in MLA format. This is the designated documentation style for all English courses, and it's a universal style, okay? MLA will stay with you throughout your academic career, so it is integral that you learn it and you employ it in every single submission that you make in this class. Third, not reading directions. I know that sounds very elementary, but many of you are not looking at all the directions in the modules and you are losing major points. For example, many of you didn't submit a works cited page with the last template based essay. That was a huge point deduction. I posted an instructional video and basically did the works cited page for you because I was teaching you how to do it. Um, you didn't take advantage of that and you lost major points on the essay. You must watch everything, read everything, and follow all directions. Ignoring instructional videos. So if we were face to face, I would come in every day and I would lecture you, which I really don't lecture, but I would teach you and model for you how to write. So because we're online, not by choice, many of you, but because we're online, you must watch every instructional video that I make and learn every um, everything that I'm teaching you about writing in this course. When you don't watch those instructional videos, you are missing out on instruction. You might as it would be like you being absent for days at a time in a face-to-face -face class. They are there for you to help you. You should watch them once and you should re-watch them. That is me teaching. It's an opportunity for you to learn. And if you don't get it the first time, relearn and relearn until you retain the information. Next, leaving out citations. If you don't include citations, you have plagiarized. It's as simple as that. Without citations, you're not giving credit to the author. And that is the definition of plagiarism. Okay. Normally, I would give a zero for anything that didn't have citations. I'm willing to work with you a little bit. I want you to learn this from this point forward. If you don't have citations in your submissions, you will get an automatic 50. Hanging quotes. Um, this is an error that I'm seeing over and over again. It was covered in the instructional video more than once. Hanging quotes are errors. Okay, a hanging quote is when the writer just drops a quote from the text into his or her essay. You must have a signal phrase to introduce the quote. So I wrote an example for you. So the quote is, farmers use methods that benefit the soil and prevent erosion. The signal phrase is, according to the article. Okay, so I can't just drop that quote in my paper. I have to introduce it or signal the reader that I am about to directly quote the text. 
Okay, you have to have that signal phrase. If you do not have it, you have committed an error called a hanging quote. Now that signal phrase doesn't necessarily have to be at the beginning. You could also put it at the end. You could also start the quote and interrupt the quote with a signal phrase and end it. But you, you have to have a signal phrase somewhere in the sentence. Using you and talking to the reader. Okay, this is a big one. Um, with the exception of the conclusion, your essay should be written in third person. Okay, third person is like how newspaper articles are written. Okay, you're you're um, you're completely objective and you are um, you're giving the facts. Okay, now in the conclusion of the TBE, I do ask you to write in first person. So I'm talking about every other paragraph besides that one. You should never write in second person in this class. Okay, second person is when you use you. Okay, or you command the reader to do something. That type of writing is if you're trying to persuade someone to do something or if you are giving a speech. There's no place for second person writing in this course. Okay, so you should never, you should never have the word you in your paper. All right, I hope this has helped you guys. I hope I don't continue to see these errors because it's going to be detrimental to your grade and I want all of you to succeed in the course. I told you in the introduction of this class that my goal is to have everyone make an A or B in this course. So um, if you have questions or comments um, or concerns, you can email me or if you'd like to talk to me face to face, come to campus. I'm in cart 165 on Fridays from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. I'd love to see you. If you can't come on Fridays, email me and we'll set up another time. All right. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you online.